Hello everyone, my name is Patrick and uh, today I'm going to be talking to you all about Cocos 2D and how to install it on your Mac. Um, so it's really quite simple. Um, actually, first let's talk about what Cocos 2D is. So Cocos 2D is a uh, game engine, um, great for building games for the Mac and for the iPhone and iPod Touch and iPad. Um, it's an awesome service, probably the most used game engine. It's 2D, obviously, is in the name. And it's great. It's very easy to set up and use, so today we're going to be going over that. And then I'm going to be showing you guys some more stuff um, later on in some other videos. So, let's start it up with, uh, first things first, you have to install Xcode. Xcode is the development environment you're going to be using. And unfortunately, you do have to have... Um, the Mac App Store in order to get this. So I'm just going to search Xcode and and here it is. Xcode, it's in the developer tools. Um, it's built by Apple. It's great, as you can see. It gives you all these features for creating apps. And that's what we're going to be using. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install it. Hit There should be a button here that says it's free. And so you just hit install and um, once you've installed that, then what you're going to want to do, and that'll, that'll take a long time. I've already done that, so you guys don't have to wait and watch me. And then what you're going to want to do is open up. Let's close this. Oh, and I already have it here. You're going to want to search Cocos 2D in Google. Open up Cocos 2D. And this website is amazing. You get all the new news about Cocos 2D. Um, you can see it all here. Uh, hmm. But uh, what you're going to want to do, they have a form. The form is amazing for answering questions. Um, I have asked questions there and I've helped answer them. Um, but what we're going to do, wanna go, what we're going to want to do is go to the download section. Um, and then you're going to want to get a stable version. Um, probably going to want 2.0 since that's the newest. Um, by the time you're watching this, perhaps it'll be even newer than that. Um, but 2.0 was recently released. And then we are going to wait. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop right now. And then once this download is complete, um, then I'm going to show you how to get back working on that. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, everybody, we finished downloading. And so let's just go up in here, open up the download. We have to untar it. And once we've got that, we should have a wonderful folder with tons of useful stuff. Um, these two files here are Xcode projects that you can use to test Cocos 2D and take a look at some examples. Um, we're not going to worry about that right now. What we want to use is this install, install templates shell script. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Terminal. If you don't know where Terminal is, you can just search it in Spotlight. Um, but what you're going to do is, oops, drag, drag this in here, and then just hit enter. And actually, I've already installed them, but once you've dragged it in and hit enter, um, it'll install all the templates, which is great. And then what we're going to do is open up. Xcode. And if you take a look in Xcode, so awesome. We're in Xcode for the first time. And uh, let's create a new project and hope that this works. And it should. Okay, great. So if you take a look here in Xcode, you can create all these applications or if you take a look right here, you can create a Cocos 2D application. Now you can create a Cocos 2D application for the iOS or for um, the Mac OS X. And, um, but we're going to do this for iOS because we're going to be building iPhone applications. Um, this one right here will just create a default um, Cocos 2D application. This one will create a Cocos 2D application with Box 2D, which can be used for making physics-based applications, which is really fun. And this one will make it with Chipmunk. Chipmunk is also used for making physics applications. Um, the, these two would be used for a game kind of like Angry Birds, where you have complex physics math going on. But we're going to be creating this one. So you're going to hit Next. 
we're going to name it. Um, I'm just going to name mine Cocos 2D Test. I don't know. And then um, your company identifier. This is, let's just make it for the iPhone right now. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to type com dot, and um, I'm just going to call myself Drenguin. Um, but you can call yourself whatever you want. You can change this. This part right here is what you're going to change. Um, and that's about it. So we're going to hit next. And then we're going to be able to save it. Let's see. You know what? Desktop seems fine for me. So let's just create it. And it's going to do a lot of work. Unfortunately, my computer's running slowly because of the video capture software. But if we wait, <laughs> uh oh, okay, what's going on? There we go, okay. And we will see all these awesome files appear. There we go, okay. And here's our project. And you're not really going to need anything right here, so let's just go ahead and close that for more space. And let's open this guy up. Um, so in here, oh, there we go. In here, there are a bunch of options. Uh, we're not really going to worry about this right now. What we're going to worry about is in here, the Hello World layer. And actually, I will be explaining all this in later video. But for right now, Let's just run the application. And again, this might take a little while because it's the first time running it. Um, and my computer is running a bit slowly because of video capture. But OK, it's not, it's not running too bad. So you can see up here, it'll give us yeah, some information. It's compiling all the files. There are a lot of files because Cocos 2D builds all these files for you, and then you just we really, for the first couple, we're only going to be really editing right here. And then we'll be creating some new layers so we can do like main menus and game layers and maybe even some high score kind of stuff. Um, but for right now, let's just run it and see if it works. And you guys will have built your first Cocos 2D application. It wasn't too hard, was it? Uh, so, this will run it on the simulator. This means it runs only in the computer, um, it's simulating an iPhone running. Um, at some point I can show you guys how to run it on your actual device, but you will have to pay the $99 um, developer fee to Apple in order to run your apps on your own device. So let's open up the simulator. There we go. How beautiful is that? Now you see we've opened it up and here it is. This is it. And they've already got some Game Center stuff built in, um, but we're not going to worry about that. In fact, we're probably going to get rid of that stuff for now. And so that's the simulator, and this is just like an iPhone, which is pretty cool, but um, that's about it. So we've got Cocos 2D installed, and we've run our first application, and then we can get going from there, and I can show you guys how to build games using this, sir, this game engine, which is great. Okay, see you next time. Bye.